The heat is a big cause for concern this week, so we have team coverage to help keep you and your family safe. A lot of the reminders you think, okay, we know, but our Matt Gephardt takes a look now at just how hot the parade routes can get for spectators. Uh, first, new specialist Kara Bracken hears from a Spanish Fork family who's hoping that their scary story uh, from their deck will serve as a warning for others. It can happen on a scorching hot 100 plus degree day. And as this family warns, birds can happen on an 80 degree day, especially on those surfaces where things can reach over 120 degrees. We, we knew it could get warm. But they didn't know it could get hot. Really bad second degree burns. Dangerously hot. Around this time last year, Mavis, 10 months old, climbed up here to their deck landing. An 80 degree sunny day, Sarah Hall was in the yard when she heard her crying. Mom rushing over. I look at her hands and her skin is just melted off. After a trip to the ER and the University of Utah Health Burn Center, Mavis went in for multiple checkups over the course of weeks. That type of thing that the time just kind of stands still. Didn't know that in a matter of seconds it would give her such major burns. Dr. Chris LaChapelle, a burn surgeon with the University of Utah Health's Burn Center, says people come in with burns caused by unexpected places once temperatures hit 100 degrees plus. Porches, patios, patio furniture, the car, um, seat belts, car seats, uh, leather seats. Um, as well as playgrounds and sand. He says they see people of all ages coming in, from children to older patients. Adults that get pavement burns from walking on pavement in their bare feet. Adults with, uh, so people working on roofs. We see an uptick uh, almost every summer, um, especially between July 4th and Pioneer Day. He says burns can have different effects. Depends on how deep the burn is. If you are touching a very hot surface, um, pavement, for example, can get as hot as 130 degrees when the temperature um, is over 100. In third degree burn cases, surgery may be required. Thankfully, Mavis, now nearly two years old, is climbing around as usual with little to no scarring. Their message to other families, decking isn't a maybe hot surface. It really gets hot. Like, it's not May. <laughs> It gets dangerously hot. The family says they have all their kids wearing shoes when they're going outside. Plus, they're using different doors to make sure that they don't burn themselves when they go outside during those hot times of the day. Now, we're also hearing from that burn surgeon. He says a good rule of thumb to stay safe is to place the back of your hand on those surfaces. And if it's too hot for you, it's too hot for everyone else. For now they're reporting. I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News. All right, Kara, thank you. It's kind of like what your mom always did, right? The good advice, use the back of the hand there. Yeah.